we have defeated an angel, an archangel. Why? Because Japanese Shinto can surpass that. I don't know what the hell's going on. Because Kanzaki is just yapping, yapping, yapping. Apparently, they're supposed to be... Uh, the, the angel we're supposed to be fighting was supposed to be like Gabriel or something. But it was like nerfed. And, you know, due to the lack of time and resources, they can't really do the whole angel threatening shit, you know, well. But Chimikado, man. Chimikado has been popping off. I cannot believe that... He just fucked up Toma and his dad. Now, Toma probably had a reason to get, you know, knocked down so that Toma couldn't prevent Shimikado from doing his, you know, feng shui magic stuff, right? Because he doesn't want him to injure himself. But the dad, there was no reason to fuck up the dad. But it's so funny how he just beat the shit out of both of them and said, Nah, I'm gonna blow up your house now. Goodbye, motherfucker. Good thing that he has the Esper power that literally is the best for a magic user Sorry, an Esper user using magic, right? He can heal all the injuries, so he's just being chilling. We're starting a brand new arc. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. No recap because new arc. That's blood. Why are you sleeping in the bathtub, bro? Because Index kicked him out. Index won't allow him to sleep on bed. Hey, chill. Is a nosebleed literally from Index fan service? No, I can't be it. What's going on, Toma? Yo. Is she wearing Index's, I mean, Toma's baggy t shirt, jacket, white collar. So, like, Last episode at the end, remember, like we fucked up Aogami, but that was still Index. And now this is like, you know, a, a lover's quarrel where the husband is kicked out. You can't, you know, sleep in bed anymore. Go sleep on the fucking couch. <laughs> Are we still being punished because of that? <laughs> is Toma a lollicon? I don't think he is, right? Has he shown signs to be actually like sexually attracted to Index? I can't really pick out a moment where he's been down bad for Index. He definitely cares about her, but I'm not so sure. Okay, okay. She's so vicious, man. She really likes biting us. Math. Look at her teething us. Did you do your remedial class shit? Didn't do any homework? Oh my god. That's a lot of fucking blood. That's actually messed up that he's bi she's biting so hard in the back of his head that he's bleeding out the head now. That's actually fucked up. Yo, Toma, you good? Replica. Imposter. Fancy. Kuroko? No, no, no. Misaka? Uh, this is whose sister? Shimikaro's sister? Ao Aogami's sister? Shimikaro's sister, right? Shimikaro's sister? So, then she must be special too. Unless she has no clue that her brother is like a secret agent. Like, she's gotta be special, right? She a weeb. Otaku. Mm, the older bro falls for the younger sister and gets murky. Oh, she, she, she literally wants Simikado to like do that to her. She is a brocon. She is living her fantasy through manga. Hi, hi. Okay. Who the hell are you? He looks like the main character. Straight up. This is like the main character of fate. Yep, very handsome Ikemen. Mitsuki. Look at him, bro. He's really down bad for Misaka, huh? Dato. Yeah, like what? <laughs> He's really, really pushy. 
I'll pick a good one for you, Misaka. Don't worry. Uh, you, you can, you know, show off to me. I can tell you if it's good or not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mitsuki don't care. <laughs> to find what kind of manga? Oh shit, it's the boys. Bro, it's the boys. I wonder if Aogami is going to be important. Because like, you know, Toma's the fucking main character. Stimikaru is very, very important. Aogami low-key just like a side character just used for fan service bullshit, huh? I want him to be like super important to the plot, but I don't think he'll be. Yeah. What? Right. <laughs> Fake boyfriend. Oh my. Oh, she's gonna pick Toma too, right? There's no way she's gonna pick Aogami or Chimikado for this. That's all, his, that's all his fantasies. That's, that's everything he likes, bro. Dude, she just got rejected. What's, what's Mitsuki thinking? Mitsuki's like, damn, she fucking sucks. Oh my god. What did Toma do, man? She's so abusive. Where's 32 at? Just roll with it. <laughs> oh, poor Mitsuki. Hi. A scene like this happened... One time in my life. One single time. Grade 8, grade 9. There was like this like event called All Schools. Basically, all the horny fucking kids go and they dance and they're just grinding on each other. And there was this one girl that was like getting approached by a guy that she didn't like. And he was like, help me. Help me. And I was like, huh, gotcha. And I was like, oh shit. Yo, you got, you got a call, you got a call, and she's like, oh, okay, okay, and then I was like, I know it's the same example, but I thought really cool. I, I was like, damn, I helped that girl out. Uh, nothing happened after that. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> then we didn't talk. <laughs> that's it. Giga Chad? No. <laughs> Not Giga Chad. <laughs> that, that's it. Yeah, that's right, plot twist. The plot twist was, the girl was not the one that needed a saving, but I simply removed her. And then I started dancing with the guy. Uh, that did not happen. Stop it. Stop it with the fucking fan fictions. Oh my god. Rumor, rumor. Beady Beady and Thomas going out? What's that voice actor? <laughs> that voice actor. I didn't expect that voice from her. Did you expect the voice from her? She smokes like she smokes like three fucking pack cigarettes a day. <laughs> So now we're dating. Wait till Index finds out. Mitsuki's not having this, man. And Mitsuki is not having this at all. The more I look at him, the more I realize he has the Kiritsugu hairstyle. This single part, the quarter part here, this is the Kiritsugu hairstyle, bro. <laughs> oh, I know. We should give Mitsuki uh, one of our clones. We have 10,000 clones. If he's simply obsessed with, you know, how Beady Beady looks. <laughs> we should give him one of the clones, bro. <laughs> Glizzy. Oh, we on a hot dog date. School's director's grandson? He's super important. Glizzy. Yo, is that lettuce in the Glizzy? Who the fuck puts lettuce in a hot dog? What the fuck? What kind of abomination is this? あんたがちょうど通りがかったんだから。はあ。とりあえず離れること。だったらもう演技する必要はねえんじゃねえの。せっかくの機会だから、二度と付きまとわれないようにしたいんだ。したいんだけど。あんたと一緒に行動して、それ
Huh? <laughs> it's so close. They look the same. I'm confused. Which one's which now? Indirect kiss. Why are you getting so flustered? It's not a big deal. Unless you're making it a big deal. Oh, indirect kiss. I feel like we got swapped. Like, like 100% the Glizzy got swapped. We definitely got Misaka's hot dog there. We have indirectly kissed now. <laughs> Look at her, biting on the side. You gotta go on dates. You gotta take pictures and make proof that we're dating. Okay, so there's only 10 clones in Academy City right now. And a lot of them have gone out. We've proved to the tree diagram, you know, and, and the higher decision people that this radio band sister project is stupid. A level zero has defeated the strongest level five. And then we were sent out by Sensei, right? Sensei said like, yo, the big wigs, you know, there's a lot of commotion. You gotta like escape right now. So like, what's happening? Are we allowed to be back already? Like, is this a problem? What do they do? What are they thinking? Aren't the higher ups thinking like, yo, who the fuck is this level zero? How did you beat Accelerator? None of this shit makes sense. Shouldn't they be trying to like pursue Toma to figure out like, what is your deal? I hope 10,032 is around. They may like two years deep into a relationship. <laughs> yeah, bro's gotta do summer. Bro, the lead came out. What the fuck are you doing? The red let actually sometimes I do this too. This is a very specific technique with the mechanical pencil. When you know that the lead right now that's coming out is limited in length and you and you're trying to basically cut it out. You're trying to remove it. So you're trying to do this and you're trying to I don't know. I've done that before. Maybe he's unaware of that. And it's gone. Are you smart? Can you do my homework for me? She'll do her homework. Nice. Just my luck. He's smart. Clutch. $5.89 for this fucking king combo hot dog is fucked up, bro. $5.89 glizzy and you just put a fucking lettuce on there with fucking mustard. In no, 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 actually. It says king combo. It's a combo. It comes with like fries and something else, I think. Maybe that is value. I hope that she actually solved the problems. Imagine that she fucked it up. Imagine that like the answer she put down is all bullshit because she just wanted to go do something else. Hello, doggy. Yo, that's a dog off the leash. Mitsuki. Mitsuki again. Oh, he helped a random kid with the dog that ran away? And yeah, she is in middle school and he's in high school. The fact that she's doing a high school student, you know, homework is hilarious. But she's level five. I'm sure that like, I mean, judging based on like, you know, her like specific dorm and like everything, it, it just exudes like such elite like school system there. Like she's level five. She, uh, something about her is probably way more prep than what Toma's doing. Yo. What's going on? Are you dating Misaka? What do you like about her, bro? True. Misaka should just straight word just reject. Mitsuki is such a rational and calm and collected person. He, he's just like, hey, would you like to go on a date? There's a nice place I like. And she's like, I'm actually dating this guy. It's like, bro, just say no. Say no. I, I bet that she's never given a direct answer. She's leading him on. He's doing our homework for us. <laughs> this guy's helping us too. Yo. Are we in trouble? Boyfriend. Say it. Say it. She said it. He is. 
He's really nice. Now, we might be getting set up. Maybe he's a piece of shit. And right now, outwards, it looks good, but deep inside is a demon. Today's episode was called Replica, right? Replica of what? I mean, I'm thinking about clones. I'm thinking about the Misaka sisters. Are we really gonna give the other sisters to, Misaka, to Mitsuki? There's no way, right? <laughs> Because I have someone I like, Bucka, you can't make me say it. I, I think that like Toma reached her heart. Like during the accelerator versus Toma versus Misaka, all that shit. Like I think Toma genuinely reached her heart. He showed her his resolve and he delivered. He saved her. So like I could definitely see how she's fallen for Toma maybe, but doesn't want to recognize it. <sighs> Okay. That's very reasonable for Biddy Biddy. McDonald's. <laughs> so they have a McDonald's and they also have a McDonald's. I thought McDonald's was McDonald's, but they have a McDonald's. Holy shit! They got a lot of burger chains here. Oi, <laughs> Misaka. Hey. This guy's stalking us. That's the replica. I see. I, he has a band on his arm. Band on his arm. I, I've never seen this character before. The fuck? There's a clone of you too? Huh? You, you, I you still saw you, bro. You have a twin? Hmm. Yeah, his arm was all wrapped up. <laughs> あ、あ。ほら、何やって逃げてくだ。自分そっくりの人があの店。ロナウェイ。ロナウェイフロム Cap or no? Cap? No,なななななななななな。This no, 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 no. is bad. Did he just punch us in the back? That's it? Bro, you had one secret attack that you could do, and you just tapped him on the back. I thought that he would have like stabbed him in the back with a weapon or something. So he just like. Alright, let's fight now, bro. The real one getting away. This is the clone. That's magic? It's a magic item. This is not Cho Noryok. This is not Esper shit. He's got a magic item. Uh oh. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? It's Index. Index is at home chilling. This is low-key reminding me of like Data Live when so many different shits happening outside. But Yoshino, the cute lolly, has to stay inside and watch sitcoms. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, Yoshino's watching a sitcom. Magic girl. <laughs> sure. Magic girl. <laughs> Index is busy just watching fucking Magic Girl anime back at home. Hey. Uh oh. Bruh. Index was too busy watching Magic Girl shit. She wouldn't even pick up the phone, so we had to call Sensei afterwards, and Sensei picked up the phone. Never mind. It was Index. I thought that was a Sensei's voice for a second. What? So, the lore behind this is, uh, it's one of the 13 lords of the day representing the 12th day of the Aztec. Dawn Lord, Mesoamerican god, represented by a menacing aspect of Venus, the morning star, and was one of the four gods which held the sky. The people of the ancient Americas believed his rays could damage people, crops, and water sources. I'm reading this shit, but the more I read it, the more it doesn't make sense. But, you know, it's the common thing with, you know, magic side of index, right? Magic side of Taru. It's not supposed to make sense. 
Magic is supposed to be just bullshit makeup anything. It's Venus. So cute. Venus mentioned the gun. Hey. How to turn the tables? Go fucking punch him, dumbass. Go punch him. Just run out like this. What do you mean? Reflecting the lights. Yeah, just use your right hand, bro. It's like shining their light rays. Oh, that's why the uh, guy, the real Mitsuki, had his arms all bandaged up. Because that's the flesh that he took out. And with Aztec magic, I guess he like transformed. Mm. Oh. I love how he like even gave us logic. He's like, yeah, there's some Esper people that could just like shift, you know, uh, shape shift. She's gonna be mad at us for that one. At the end of this, she's gonna be like, You hung up on me and start gonna fucking bite on us. Ghosted. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> Bro, right hands. Hit him with the fucking shovel. Okay. Obscure the vision. Run up and punch him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> No, no light, no light. <sighs> Lucky though, there's no way Toma predicted that. There's no way that desperation, you know, sand move, the cement stuff. He thought that, okay, it's gonna prevent the, you know, fucking reflection of the light. There's no way, that's luck, right? <gasps> what does he really look like inside? What is he? Pushy level 5. Mm. Index. Level 5. Misaka, yeah. Even beat Accelerator. The Kamijo forces. Who's it threatening? It, it, it basically the balance of power between magic and science? It's getting shifted? Is that what he's implying right now? The fuck? We got a squad? Yeah, it is. I mean, Alistair was sending, you know, Stata and Toma down there to, you know, handle the vampire shit. Because if that Izzard stuff kept happening, right, with, true, with deep blood, like, that could have shifted the scales to the balance. So, like, the world is aware. I don't know exactly who sent Mitsuki, but people are aware that the tides are changing and Toma is... Gathering and uniting powerful friends, not just science stuff, but magic people too, right? We have, you know, Kanzaki, we have Stade. Well, Kanzaki's not really. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Kanzaki's not a magician? Can someone explain that to me? How does that work? Because Kanzaki's still part of Church of Necessarius. She's like a priest, saint, but she's not necessarily using magic per se, is she? She's just using swordsmanship. She is the magic side, but I haven't seen her really use magic. She's a saint. Okay, okay. Tsuchimikado, for example, right? Like, and, and there's a lot of other people, right? We, we have both magic and science kind of on our side. Damn. Not letting you go, bro. What does he look like underneath? I don't know. <laughs> nice! I heard that. I heard that. That was pretty clever how the reflection of the light, right? It's working, but there's too many fucking steel concrete pillar bullshit. It's like reflecting all of the surface. He can't, you know, perfectly locate where he's gonna hit. Ooh. Broken. Beat his ass, bro. Where do you go? Don't let him get away. Yeah, you sound reasonable, like a good person. It was all fake. Protect? Why would you say that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it wrong for a fake to want to protect Miss Misaka? What the fuck? You just literally say you're picking off every important member around the Kamijo faction and Misaka is one of them. Yet now you're saying you want to protect Misaka. 
because the more that Misaka gets closely associated with Toma, the more in danger she is and other forces will then try to pick her off. So this fake actually is in love with Misaka and he kind of wants to save her in, her in his own way. I don't know. <laughs> Who sent you, bro? Be higher up. So this is my fault? He low-key wanted to just like put this under the cover? He was like, listen, I'm not here to do fucked up shit. I I'm literally here to give like an empty report to my higher ups and everything would have been chill. But suddenly it's my fault? What the fuck? Blame Misaka. I love it when he's. I fucking love it. Wait, it's his signature line. Then let me break that fucking illusion of yours. Yeah. Imagine Breaker. <laughs> Yo, these steel beams, though. <laughs> Save them. Bidi bidi. Bidi bidi. Misaka showed up. Or maybe 10,032. I don't know. I saw electric though. Where you at, girl? <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> okay. I guess so. There's more people that's gonna come after us, huh? What the fuck? You protected Misaka? 10,032. Not Misaka. I don't see her booty shorts. I don't see her shorts. That means pantsu. That means this is the superior clone. I think. Or maybe it's an animation failure. I couldn't see the booty shorts. Ooh, who the fuck are you, bro? How are you fucking telling me? Will you protect Misaka for me? Motherfucker, I don't even know who you are. You delusional. Delulu. She crazy. Misaka is a terrible person. He's not. He's just maniacal sometimes because of level five, you know? People in level five, they're fucking crazy. Oh, 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 what is he saying? What's he saying? He said, nah, you do it, pussy. <laughs> nah, this is the real Misaka. I don't know why they didn't see her booty shorts there. I thought that, like, for sure, this was important because I couldn't see the booty shorts, but maybe the booty shorts don't go this. No, no, it, it's definitely, like, it cuts off here. This is an animation failure, right? I thought they're trying to hint that this could have been 10,032. I didn't see the fucking shorts there, but I guess the real Misaka has listened to what Toma said there. I think she's gushing. It's not like I'm in love with Toma or anything. Yup, she's gushing. It's over. Oh, we're the one that's making it misleading? When you were the one being misleading the entire time today? And that's the end of our first episode into this new arc, which is... Is there a name for this arc? But basically, it's the Kamijo faction and the balance of the powers between the magic side and the science side being changed because of the Kamijo faction and the church people kind of like sending assassins in. Pretty interesting. I wonder what kind of new people will show up. I guess they really do fear Toma. Like, it's crazy how they have such little details, huh? They have, like, like, like the fact they're they're carefully observing who Toma's even making friends with. The churches definitely have acknowledged Toma then, huh? Like, they must be aware of this bullshit power that's capable of countering, you know, divine miracles and shit. So, basically, we're under heavy observation. The more friends we collect, the more dangerous it becomes. But it's... It's kind of weird because like, we have magical friends and we have science friends, right? So it's, it's, I don't know. I guess the churches, they're just scared that they're going to be overtaken. Like, we're not going to do anything against them, right? But simply letting, you know, Kamijo faction fester and letting them grow bigger and bigger is going to make them scared. So I guess they're sending fucking more high school students <laughs> after us. Why is it always high school students? There's no fucking adults. It is what it is. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.